Hello Aries viewers. I know I've been gone for a while, but I am back now. I'm still doing private readings as well. So if you'd like a private reading, my email is right below in the description box. Thank you guys for watching. And if this resonates, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm trying to get back in the, the algorithm again, trying to get my uh, videos promoted on YouTube again. So I appreciate your, your support and your engagement. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotage. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Apology, regret. I feel like there's a couple different messages here. So it just does feel like it's leaning towards being a love reading. I feel like somebody is really carefully choosing their words right now. They're planning their approach. They're overthinking it though. They're overanalyzing, they're self-sabotaging. I feel like this person feels very guilty for something that they did to you. Because we have betrayal, jealousy, conflict here. I almost feel like this person is kind of jealous of something too, but I feel like I'm just getting the energy that they feel like they betrayed you. They feel like they let you down or hurt you in some way, and they want to offer you this apology. They feel like they have a lot of regret. I feel like they're just trying to think about how to do this because they don't want to... I feel like this person has a hard time finding that balance because they don't want to come on too strong, but they don't want to say less than what they should be saying either. You know what I mean? Like if this is somebody who betrayed you in some way, broke your heart, maybe um, maybe made you jealous, and it's like there might not have been reason to be jealous, but maybe they just kind of played games and they didn't really consider your feelings enough. I feel like this person was just kind of in their head. I feel like this, I feel like this person almost, there could be mental illness too because I just feel the energy of somebody who might be a little bit because I'm looking at this person who's like overthinking and overanalyzing and self-sabotaging. And it could just be a neurotic energy. But I'm also getting something about the overanalyzing. Like they really, it's almost like they just really, it, there's this energy of just trauma where it's it's like they really get in their head. And it, it's like they can't see the truth. They can't see what's really going on. It, it's almost like they, this is somebody who's very stubborn. It's like they convince themselves of things. You know what I mean? Like they might convince you, convince themselves that you have somebody new in your life and you don't actually have somebody new in your life, you know? Um, or it's like they see you, like they see you at a club with a guy and it's like somebody or, or, or a girl, you know, either way. And it's just somebody that you're friends with, but like they, they convince themselves like, oh, that must be someone they're dating. And it, it's just a platonic friend or like a, like a family member even, you know, it just feels like somebody who like. It's like they don't know how to ask for help. They don't, how do I explain it? And I mean, this person probably shouldn't rely on outside influence because I feel like this person is too susceptible to that where it's like someone might put an idea in their head and they're like oh yeah like if if it, basically if it confirms like a pessimistic thought that they have then they'll they'll be all for it you know what I mean like um let's say just this is just somebody that has like like you know glass half empty kind of kind of mentality like always expecting the worst always waiting for the worst so it's like if someone if someone tells them something positive or tells them to go to follow their heart, they won't listen. They'll find excuses not to listen to that. It's like they have very selective hearing, basically. But if they have a friend who kind of puts them down or says that they're not good enough or says, you know, all women are garbage or all men are garbage, you can't trust anybody, they'll be like, oh, yeah, that, that feels true to me. And they'll they'll run with that. They'll take that. So, I mean, this person might actually be isolating from people in a way because they realize that they have that tendency to be too impressionable. So I think it is good in a way that they are taking some time to just think on their own. I think the issue is, though, that they're getting in their head and they're not actually using their intuition. This feels like somebody who's just kind of going on a downward spiral. They're just, they don't have enough information. And so they're trying to fill in the gaps and just make assumptions. You know what I mean? Like if you're single, like I said, they might be, they might think that you're with somebody when you're actually not with anybody. 
but they just they don't have all the answers so they're just you know really quick to just assume the worst and it's like their mind kind of plays tricks on them so it's, it's like they're just they're doing it's like they're overwhelming themselves I get like anxiety it's like they're thinking about this so much they're so in their head about you right now and it, it's really sad too because they need to I feel like this is somebody who like can't take things at face value you know what I mean and they're like oh what does this mean like does it is this like a hidden message and sometimes things are like that I'm not saying they're not you know what I mean like I think there are hidden messages everywhere but I, I just feel like this is somebody who like is is just constantly looking for like the worst case scenario constantly over analyzing things and it's, it's almost like they overanalyze until they get to that worst case scenario, until they get to like the worst possible conclusion. You know what I mean? Like they might, I feel like their spirit guys try to come through and try to give them hope and try to say like, hey, it's not, it's not as bad as you think. Like, you know, there's a way out of this. There's a way to fix things. And it's like this person just kind of ignores those spirit guides. They're like, that's wishful thinking. It couldn't, life couldn't possibly be that easy. And, and so they just kind of get stuck in their head and they just, they, they keep thinking about things and thinking about things and eventually they just come to the worst possible conclusion and they're, they're like, that's probably it. That's probably what's really going on. Like not really giving people the benefit of the doubt, just, just filling in the, in the gaps basically with their own, you know, insecurities and their own fears and, and it's, it's illusion basically, you know, this person is really in their head. It just, yeah, there's just so much self-sabotage here. I feel like it's almost guilt too, almost like punishing themselves for things that they've done in the past. Like they almost feel, like I almost, it's really, it's, it makes me sad for this person because it almost feels like their spirit guides are actually trying to tell them like, hey, you have love in front of you or you have, you know, money in front of you. You have other career options. You have options in love. You have options you know in abundance like you can you know some of some of them want to like move to a new location it's like and their spirit guides are saying hey you can have all this we'll support you and it, it's just really sad but it, it's almost like this person is like rejecting their spirit guides because they don't feel good enough for those blessings they're thinking like no those blessings couldn't possibly be for me those blessings are probably for somebody else like they're they're not listening to their spirit guides so I mean, it is a really good energy that this person is at least in hermit energy. They're at least not being impressionable. They're not listening to the toxic people around them anymore. So that's a positive thing. But it's it's just that they're not listening to their intuition either. So it's like they're on the right track. Like they made the that first step, um, which is listening to themselves more. That's, you know, that's the first step. But it, it's like they, they have a little bit more ways to go because it's like they need to actually listen to their heart and actually listen to their intuition and listen to their spirit guides but they're they're basically just listening to their fears their insecurities to their mind and um like on a loop just repeating these same cycles and you know they feel like they're listening to themselves but it, it's it's like they're not you know what i mean they're, they're not really listening to their their actual intuition and they, they need to listen to their intuition they need to to try to find more of a balance and and not just assume the worst but um yeah it feels like this person's punishing themselves for things that they did in the past I just feel like they really it's just so in their head it's like i'm actually getting like a headache just doing this reading like this person is like that in their head it's like they're stressing themselves out like this is somebody who's just going and like like just probably having like sleepless nights over you like somebody who's just like just thinking and thinking and thinking and they try to go to sleep and they just they you know they it just doesn't stop like they're just they're just so in their head right now and they need to step back and ground themselves maybe take a bath like do like a cleansing bath or a um like meditation maybe even travel like go out to the woods go be out in nature go to the beach uh just they, they need to do something they need to they're they're, they're they're not, they're trying to find answers and the answers are, the answers they're trying to find are going to come through listening to their intuition and listening to their spirit guides. 
and also through communication, through like actually communicating with you and getting on the same page with you. It's like then, you know, actual like physical real world communication, then there's going to be those, you know, those answers for them. Right now, it's like they're being stubborn and trying to fill on the gaps, fill in, fill in all the gaps on their own. And they're just they're never going to be able to, but they're they're trying to, you know, they're they're adamant that they want all the, this is somebody that has a lot of control issues. They want all the answers. They want to figure out everything on their own before making any, any ne new steps, you know, any, any steps in the right direction, but taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other, mixed feelings, hesitation, anger, miscommunication. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like, okay, so for some of you, I almost feel like, like they're, they see you in this light, which is why they're having mixed feelings and confusion and hesitating is because they feel, look at her, she's pissed <laughs> here, male or female, this person is pissed anger, miscommunication, cold, guarded, distrusting. They feel like you're this in this energy where you're angry, you're cold, you don't trust them anymore. And I'm not saying you're not in that energy at all, but I honestly don't, I feel like more like you're in this energy where you're like, I'm here, I'm, I'm waiting for you, you can come back to me, but I'm not going to chase you. I'm not going to I'm not going to throw myself at you. It's like, look at her. She's very, you know, male or female. It's like this person is very, um, like she's open, but you can tell that she's confident. You can tell that she knows who she is. You can tell that she knows what she wants, that she's not going to compromise her boundaries. Like look at her facial expressions. Look at her energy. It's like she's, she's waiting. She's open. She's holding space for this person, but, um, but, you know, like I said, she's not, it's like, you're not going to throw yourself at this person. You're not going to chase them. You're not going to, it's like, you know, that they owe you an apology. I feel like they're making it. I feel like, I feel like both you and this person know that they owe you an apology, but I honestly feel like it's not as, as dark and, and intense as they're making it out to be where they're like, you know, going over and over, like, how do I apologize? What do I say? How do I do this? And honestly, like they could just say, they could just simply message you and be like, Hey, I'm sorry for everything. Like I miss you. I want to talk to you. I want to fix things. And you would be open. You know what I mean? It's like, they're, it's, it's not, they're, they're trying to perfect it, trying to word it properly. It's like, if they just showed you real effort, you would be open. Cause like I said, it's like, you're in this energy where you're not you're not, you're open to them. You, you, you know what I mean? Like you're open to them coming and being with you, but you're not, look at her. She's just standing there. You know what I mean? Like she's look like, it's like, you're looking at this person, but you're not going to go towards them. You're not going to, you're not going to chase them. You're not going to fight for them. You're not going to try to convince them. You're just standing here in your power. And if they really love you and if they really want you, they can come meet you here. You know, they can send that apology. They can put themselves out there. They can be brave and they can come, you know, come get you basically, you know what I mean? Like you'll be open to it. And it's just sad because it's like this person isn't realizing that this person, it's like you're in this energy and you know, they could be with you now. They could, they could come and make this right if they're willing to put themselves out there and be open. But it's, it's like a lot of them are, a lot of them are like blocking themselves because they don't realize you're in this energy. They think you're in this energy where you are angry or cold or guarded, distrusting. And I honestly, I don't feel like most of you are going to wait much longer. I feel like you're in this energy now where you, you see how like she's, I wouldn't say she's like pissed necessarily, but she, she knows that she deserves an apology. She knows that, that this, whatever this was, was bullshit. You know what I mean? She's kind of, you can kind of see on her face, like she's confident, but you kind of see that energy where she's a little bit like, like, okay, are we doing this or not? Like a little impatient, um, which makes sense. You know, it completely makes sense if you've gone through a lot with this person, but yeah, I don't get the sense that you're going to wait much longer though. It's like, you're still open to this person if they actually make the effort and they come forward. But I, I honestly feel like, you know, this woman's going to turn away and just go down go down a new path if, if this person, you know, if this person doesn't come forward and make this apology and let you know that they want to fix things and make things right with you. I think that you're, you're, you're on the verge of just 
you know, you're, you're, you're getting close to just completely giving up on it or being done. So basically this person just needs to get out of their head, honestly, is what it is, what it feels like here. This person is, it's, it's like they're so insecure that they, they don't, when someone has boundaries with them or when someone like asks to be treated better or when somebody isn't chasing them or doing what they used to do, it's like this person is like, oh, this person hates me now. You know what I mean? Like they don't, they need to find that balance and ground themselves. It's like people aren't angry at them. People aren't, you know, completely shutting them out. It's like people are just not willing to put themselves through bullshit, basically. So yeah, hopefully this person gets it together and comes forward with some kind of, kind of apology, some kind of, you know, effort to make things right. And then I think you, you, know, you guys will be on a good page. Like you guys will, I mean, you know, things will be progressing forward with this person. If this person is able to get out of their head and actually make some effort towards you. And then I feel like those answers, that clarity this person's looking for will, will come from that, from those, you know, from you guys communicating and, and having a heart to heart talk and laying things out on the table and being honest with each other. Sudden turn of events, confusion, uncertainty, nostalgia, longing. Yeah, it's like this person is still just like torn between these two different energies, like between all these different energies. It's like, do they want to wait and just hope and pray for this and like, you know, just kind of have you be their unicorn and not actually come forward? Or do they want to change, you know, to have this sudden turn of events, you know, to move forward quickly, to to make these changes in their life and, and actually be with you finally? Like what, like, you know, the choice is th theirs. At least right now, it's like they still have that option if they, if they hurry it up. But it, it's like, again, with the fast moving energy, I get that you're not waiting much longer. Like they don't really have... If they want to stay in this confusion, uncertain energy, you're going to be done. You're not going to do, you're not going to do that. Truth, clarity, shyness, fear, rejection. Yeah, if they knew the truth, like, I feel like they would make a move. It's like they would see that there's a green light, but it's like, is there anything else to say about, because right, right now the cards are kind of just reiterating the same thing. So let me see if there's actually anything else to say here. feel like you're gonna feel like this person will realize that they have an opening with you and they're gonna take it we have fear of commitment we have yeah it's like gonna take a lot of willpower and strength and confidence for this person to just get past this this fear of rejection fear of commitment sadness reconciliation adventure honeymoon vacation soul contract yeah because you have this beautiful energy it's like if they get out of their head if they stop like if they get out of eight of swords energy like they're in Traditionally, Eight of Swords is basically somebody who has, like in the, like the traditional tarot, the Eight of Swords is somebody who has, you know, these swords all around them and they're in the center of the swords and they're so focused on the swords around them that they're not realizing there's an opening right in front of them. Like it's not, they don't have to climb a mountain to get to it. It's just right in front of them. There's an opening and beyond that opening, there's a picture of like, I think it's like a castle or something like that and like a... Um, it's, it's like everything is like right in front of this person's face, like true love, money, abundance, like that castle, like the dream life, but they're so in their head. They're so focused on the swords that they feel trapped, but they're not actually trapped. So I feel like for a lot of them, it's like, they're going to recognize that they're going to have that epiphany and they're going to take their power back and just move forward towards, you know, towards you, towards their true love, towards their castle, towards their abundance. Because I feel like, I mean, it's a lot of good energy, you know, like there's a past life connection here. We have reconciliation. If they get out of their head and out of eight of swords, there is reconciliation here between you and maybe even traveling because we have adventure, honeymoon, vacation, um, motorcycles could be significant for somebody, the beach. It's like, this is like passion too. This is like, you know, I, this is like a very romantic energy. And, and so it's like this, you know. There's that potential there if they just get out of their head, you know. And you see, I noticed, like, she has the same energy as, um, where was she? Like, very similar energy where it's like, you know, she's letting him take the lead. 
it's it's like you're just not willing I feel like, you know, for this group of people, I feel like, you know, it's like the the feminine energy here is just not willing to be in the masculine role anymore. And that's not like, you know, you could be a woman in masculine energy or a male in feminine energy. Like, don't, you know, don't get caught up on that. It, it's like masculine energy is more of like a dominant, like take action, like go after what you want kind of energy. Feminine energy is just as powerful as masculine energy. But like, this is like more feminine energy. It's like, you know, she's in her power, she's manifesting, but she's letting things come to her. And so I think that's the thing is that, you know, you're in this energy and this person's not used to you being in this energy. So it's like, you're, you know what I mean? Like you see how she's like, she's just as powerful as him. So like, don't, don't think that I'm saying that, like, you know, that there's any imbalance there. Like they're both equals in every way. But she's letting him take the lead. She's being in her feminine energy. She's, you know what I mean? Like, he has to come to her. She's not willing to go to him. And I feel like once that per this, once this person realizes that, you know, once they have that opening and they have that clarity, it's like, you know, they're able to come forward, but you're just, you're not willing to be in the masculine role anymore. You're, you're staying in your feminine energy. You're letting things come to you. And basically this person can either step up and take the masculine role and be assertive and let you know how they feel, or you're going to be open to somebody who does want to be in the masculine role and somebody who does want to do those things. Um, so yeah, I hope this reading helped you. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. Like I said, trying to get back in the algorithm and um, send me a message if you'd like to book a private reading. That email is in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching.